Welcome to Vancouver Island Regional Libraries Filmora Training. Episode 3, Color Correction. As we mentioned in our last video, it's counterintuitive to complete color correction at the beginning of the editing process. In our case, where we want to cut our clips into smaller clips, we need to complete color correction first because you can't copy color correction from one clip to another, nor can you select several clips at once to complete color correction in Filmora. So to start color correcting, we want to make sure our clip is in the timeline. And we want to select it by clicking it once. You'll see a border appear indicating that it's selected. We also have some more options above the timeline here. If we hover over, we have crop, speed, advanced color tuning, green screen, and edit. For color correction, we can either choose advanced color tuning or edit. First, we'll see what our options are with advanced color tuning. A pop-up window appears and we can see several presets and a preview screen. Try out different presets to see if they match what you want your color correction to look like. Within a preset, you can also make some adjustments with white balance, 3D LUT, color, and other items. If we open this up, we can move the slider along to see if it matches what we want a little bit closer, like so. This may help tweak the correction enough, depending on your needs. When you're ready, select OK to apply the correction to the clip. We're going to reset everything for now and close this so we can take a look at our other options. If the presets aren't enough, you might have to do some custom editing. So we'll make sure our playhead is over in our preview screen here and we'll select the edit button. We'll want to make sure color is selected in this view here. So in the media viewer, you'll see what the options actually look like. We have options for color enhancement, white balance, tone, and 3D LUT. You can move the slider to see what that looks like in the previewer. You can see a little bit more difference there. To reset, just press this little button beside here. You can also select auto for all of these options. Select the reset button here to change those back. For white balancing, you can also select the eyedropper to choose a section of your video that's white to balance to. It can be helpful to hold a white sheet of paper up to the screen at the beginning of filming to use for just this purpose. So we'll click it and bring it on over to the viewer. And that looks kind of white there. So that's what our white balance would look like. I don't know if I'm so happy about that. So I'll do a reset. I'm going to click OK for now. In our options, I think I like here in advanced color correction, the warm option. It gives it, our video a little bit more life. I'm going to select OK to apply the settings. And you can see that in the media viewer. We'll do the same editing to our other clips so that everything is covered. Our next step will be to cut our clips and start creating our story.